been locked for one month now so I want to wash them from the dirty soap shampoo it's made of black soap and then it has honey and eucalyptus oil so i want to wash my hair show you the routine of washing your hair when you have crochet style because this is a, this is a crochet style and i like the new coat because it has made it look so cute so pretty <laughs> This bottle is very easy to use when you're applying the shampoo. That is why I put the shampoo in here. And also, you make sure that your motion of fingers when you're rubbing the scalp, you're actually using the massage motion. And also ensure that you don't have chipped nails or long nails that are going to pull the hairs from the roots. Another point is that uh, you make sure that you're paying attention to your edges, to your hairline, especially if you're using product to lay your edges in a week many times so ensure that you rub your edges well to make them clean and to, to remove that build up now the other tension you pay is in the middle part the middle part of my hair is big large cornrows so um, applying the soap might it might be a bit tricky but the minute you get the soap there you make sure that you're rubbing the hair as your fingers go through the thick lines so they go under and out under and out and you make sure that you feel every part of those lines once your hair is clean enough you just rinse it off under lukewarm or warm water and we are clean. Our hair is clean. I feel fresh. Remember that the ends of your hair must have also trapped some dust, especially now that it was a very, very dusty season. So you just rinse the ends off and you dry the water by pressing it out like that the hair is so light already when you just press out the water the next step i'm going to do a protein hair mask by care and more so i'm doing a protein mask because i didn't do a protein treatment before i did the, this hairstyle and the method is just scooping and applying it evenly and sufficiently onto your hair and make sure that every part of your own hair natural hair is covered with a mask and then next i'm just going to take this plastic bag <laughs> tie it up like that and then secure it with a handband and I'm gonna get in a dryer for 15 minutes and then come back and wash the hair. Here I am, 15 minutes later, ready to wash off the hair mask. So, still using lukewarm water, just rubbing it off and making sure that I'm not so rough with my hair. Just like that.
Now every protein treatment should be followed with a deep conditioner, moisturizing conditioner. So here is mine. It's a DIY of aloe vera gel, flaxseed gel, and avocado, and eggs. It's a general DIY, this one. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just going to be scooping and applying it generously on the hair like that. Make sure that I cover every piece of my natural hair strand with this uh, deep moisturizer. The next thing I'm going to do is the same as I did with the deep treatment. I'm just going to cover it up with a plastic bag and then go into the dryer for 15 minutes. I'm using a dryer bonnet. That's what I usually use. It's usually connected to a blow dry. Uh, you just connect the nozzle to the uh, the nozzle of the dryer bonnet to the blow to the nozzle of the blow. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> So I will be using the ear covers to secure the bonnet perfectly on the head so that I can be able to do other things like watch movies and eat. It's 15 minutes already and I forgot to press the record button when I was removing the blow dry so I already removed it and now I'm just going to remove the cap and go and wash this hair. The moisturizer has absorbed into the hair so I'm gonna go and wash it. It's time to moisturize my hair and I'm going to use aloe moisturizing cream from Nexto Naptras. I'm just applying it and also focusing on the edges. I love taking care of my edges so much. So you make sure that you moisturize every part of your hair. Next, I'm gonna use my scalp oil, just applying it on the scalp and massaging it through the hair to make sure that it absorbs and it also helps in sealing the moisture that I have applied on the hair. It's worth noting that by the time I was done doing all this, my hair was already dry and now we're just going to do the maintenance. I have this new pack of beads that I want to use to add onto the ones I already have. So I will only need a crochet hook, a small size crochet hook like that one. And then I'm just going to put them and tie a knot at the bottom. I'm using this wrapping foam by Aunt Jackie's to tame the frizz on the hair after washing and also to make it shiny and appear new. After that, I'm gonna do some maintenance on the hair. When I was initially installing this hair, I was so tired that I was not able to, to, to wrap them perfectly because I don't like, uh, like have a hook at the bottom for crochet so after washing the I think the friction has caused some of those uh, 
braids to come out so that is what I'm doing right now as well as tucking in the other part of my hair that had come out. That's mostly it guys so I'll be rocking this here for another one month. I was uh, able to do a shoot after doing this maintenance and here are some of the photos some dancing, keeping myself happy keeping myself sane.